Hey what's up guys and welcome to my new video. Today I want to do a little comparison video between my real and my fake iPhone 5. So here on the right side we have the fake iPhone 5, the Sophone Z5 Plus. There's also an unboxing video on my channel so please check it out. On the left side we have my black real iPhone 5, 16GB and today I want to do a little comparison and spot the differences. Okay, so if we now turn the screen on by pressing the home button on both devices, we can see that they look pretty equal. But there is one difference, the right one, the fake one, isn't running iOS, it is running Android, which just looks like iOS. But except of this, um, both phones look pretty similar, they have the same size, the same layout, um, also the weight is the same, the sensors, the screen has the same color, and many other stuff is equal to the real iPhone 5. So the only difference you can spot at the first look is that the right one is white and the left one is black. Okay, so if we now take a closer look at the front side, then we can see on the top the camera hole. It's on the same spot on both devices and it also has the same size. The same goes here for the speaker. Then we also have the light sensor on the white one, you can see it on the black one not because it's also black. And then we have a sensor on the real one which isn't on the fake one which is the proximity sensor. But except of this both phones look from the front completely equal. Also I'm really impressed by the color of the screen. As you can see the color looks completely like the original and this isn't common on Chinese phones. Then here on the bottom side we can see the home button so same size, um, same spot and it also feels like the real one. And also here the radios as you can see looks completely like on the original one. Okay, so now take a closer look at the back side. So on the back side we can see that the fake one does not have any logos on it, so no iPhone and no Apple logo, but also the back side is made out of solid metal just like the original. Then here on the top side we can see the LED flash which looks a little bit different on the fake one. Then we also have here the camera microphone on both devices and then we have the back camera. And as you can see the back camera looks slightly different, we will later see if the quality is as good like the original. Then um, the right one here on the top is made out of plastic and the left one is made out of glass but you won't notice much differences. And if we go down the phone we can see that both phones look completely equal except of the logos. Okay so here comes another overview over the back side. So as you can see they have exactly the same size, also the materials are equal. So the middle part is made out of metal, just the upper part and the bottom part is made out of plastic. So here we can see the side with the SIM card bay. As you can see the SIM card slot is a little bit bigger on the fake one. But except of this it looks completely equal. Also the thickness of the phone is exactly the same like on the original iPhone 5. Okay then here we can see um, the side with the um, volume up key, volume down key and the mute key. And the mute key looks a little bit different because here on the fake one we have this red line and on the original one we have the orange line. So um, the volume up and the volume down key look completely equal and they are also made out of solid metal. So except of this you won't notice any difference here on this side because it has the same length and also the same thickness. Ok so now let's take a look at the side with the power button. So here's the power button and it's on the same spot like on the original. It has also the same size and it's also made out of solid metal. So you won't notice any difference here on this side. Then here on this side we can see all the connectors and here we can see the speaker holes. So the speaker holes are a little bit bigger on the real one. Then we can see the screws to open up the phone. They're a little bit bigger on the fake one. Then here we have the lightning connector which is basically the same on both phones. Another screw and another speaker holes. And then we have the 3.5mm headphone jack which looks a little bit bigger on the fake one. But um, in both you can plug in 3.5mm headphones. So last but not least let's compare the weight of both phones. So I have here this little weighing machine and let's um, weigh the real iPhone 5. So the real iPhone 5 has something about 115 grams. And now let's weigh the fake iPhone 5. So here we go. Here comes the fake one. And we get 106 grams. So it's about 10 grams difference. Okay, so let's check out the menu. And swiping through the menu feels really smooth on the fake one, just like on the original one. And it really looks like iOS 6. So uh, there is iOS 6 on the left one, and on the right one there is Android, which just looks like iOS 6. And you can see exactly that it is Android because it has this Google Play Store here. And the Google Play Store is only available on Android devices. So there is one thing that I want to know what happens if I press the App Store button. So let's open up the App Store on the real one. So as you can see it opens up the App Store 
and if you do it on the fake one you get this Chinese message here so on the real one you have the App Store and on the right one you get this so if you press then any button you will be redirected to this here so here you can see the apps you have installed and you can also update them so I think it's something like a modded Google Play Store or something so um, yeah I don't speak Chinese so I'm not 100% sure about this and let's go back and on the fake one we have this little box here which you can drag and drop all around the screen and now I'll show you what this box is. So if you click on it, you can see that you have a lock screen, settings tab, home button, apps tab, and favor tab. So you have a virtual home button, which you have to press when you want to close a app, because the home button here um, on the fake one is just a back button, like the back button on a Android device. Okay, and now let's check out messages and calls. So if you go to messages, write a new message, you can see that it looks exactly like on iOS. Um, the only thing which looks different is the keyboard because this is a Android keyboard and it's not the iPhone keyboard so it looks different but maybe it's possible to change it with a skin. If you go to phone you can dial here a number just like on the real one and call people. Here to compare it as you can see no difference. If you go to contacts you can see all your contacts and you can import them from your Google account like it's possible on Android. And now let's take a look at the settings on both devices. So here let's open it up on the real one and here on the fake one. So um, at the first look they look completely equal. They pretty much have here um, the same tabs like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, hotspots, carrier. Um, we also have here do not disturb, notifications, then general settings. Um, we also have here iCloud on this device. I don't know if this is working or not. Then we have here um, emails, um, FaceTime also here on the fake one. Then we have here um, the iTunes App Store here on the bottom. We also have here music, but you can't import them from iTunes. You have to um, copy to your phone. And here um, on the fake one we have a developers tab like you know from Android. So here you can activate install apps from unknown sources to install APK files and some other stuff here. Okay, But we also have here um, Nike plus iPods and also some other iPhone stuff. So now let's go to general and about the phone. So here we can see um, name iPhone 5, my network provider. The total space is 16 gigabytes and available are 13 gigabytes. So this is quite much. Version 6.0, so fake iOS. And also some other stuff like Bluetooth, email, um, modem firmware and so on. So now let's go back by pressing the home button. So um, here it's a little bit faster on the um, real one. And let's see what happens if we double tap the home button. So if we double tap it, we also get this taskbar, so I think this is really great. And if we tap it just once, um, it opens up search your iPhone. So um, as you can see, the taskbar is working on both devices. But um, you can see some differences, because here we have the Android keyboard, and on the left side we have the iPhone keyboard. But as I said, it's maybe possible to change it with a skin. Okay, so now let's check out what happens if we swipe from the top to the bottom. So on the real one it opens up your notifications and shows up your widgets. And on the fake one we have the Android system bar. So here you can adjust your display brightness, display timeout, auto rotation. Then we also have enable Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, data connection and airplane mode. There's also some Chinese app here and we also have your general mode, silent mode, meeting mode and auto mode. If we press this Chinese app it just opens up some weird thing and then closes. Okay, so now um, let's close this here. And as you can see both phones are connected to 3G. So now let's open up the browser and make a little speed test. So here we go. So um, let's go to um, speedtest.net and as you can see the browser looks different. On the right side we have the Android browser and on the left side we have Safari. So now let's go to speedtest.net. So it must be here. Okay. Let's do it also on the real one. And then we can compare the um, download speed and upload speed of the connection. They both should be, it should have the same connections because they have the same provider and also here at the same spot. And yeah. So let's check it out. If we go to speedtest.net, we, we can see that we have to download the app. So here on the fake one, we have to click at Google Play Store. So let's do this. So then you can also see how it looks like um, when you install a app. Just open it up with Google Play Store. And here we do it with the App Store. And as you can see, you can install every app from the um, Google Play Store. So um, you can use every Android app. There are no restrictions. And here on the real one, we will just install it from the App Store. Okay, okay, so um, let's wait a second until the app is installed. 
So now the app is successfully installed on both devices. Let's open it up here on the fake one and here on the original one. Okay, um, don't allow. Okay. So um, the fake one needs a little bit longer to locate the closest server. Okay, so now it works. So now let's begin the test on both devices. So the app looks a little bit different as you can see because um, the right one is an Android app and the resolution of the screen isn't exactly the same. So it's testing the ping and we get a great ping on the fake one. Okay, so let's wait for the ping on the real iPhone 5. So we get also a great ping of 33 milliseconds and it looks like as the download speed on the real one would be much faster than on the fake one, but let's wait for the results. So we get about 6 Mbps down on the fake one and 23 Mbps down on the real one. So I'm not sure about those results because also the fake one should be capable of H+, which is about 20 Mbps. So I will test this later once again and tell you the results. And the upload speed is almost the same, it's um, about 4 Mbps, so this can vary, so this is good. So from the results we can see that the download speed on the real one is much faster than on the fake one, but also the fake one should be capable of 20 Mbps, so I'm not sure about this, and I will try this later once again and tell you the results. Okay, so let's close this, and as you can see we have to tap the home button several times or use the virtual home button, which um, would go in one click. But um, here let's take a look at the Google Play Store. Some person in the last video asked me about WhatsApp. So um, because this is a full Android version, you can also install every Android app you want to. The same goes for WhatsApp. So WhatsApp is working on this device, also every other messenger or every other Android app is working on this device. Just go to the Google Play Store and install it. Okay, and now let's take a closer look at the internet browser and check out some YouTube videos. So let's go to YouTube. Okay, so here we go, youtube.com, same here on the real iPhone 5. youtube.com, okay. Um, so um, now let's just take um, a famous video like the gold digger prank. Okay, so open it up on both devices. And as you can see, it loads up here on the iPhone very fast. Also here on the fake one, you just have to click on it and then it loads up. And the video playback on the fake one is as smooth as on the original one, so there are no lags like on other Chinese phones. Um, it's pretty fast due to its 2GB of RAM and the MTK6577 dual core processor. Also it has a good MTK GPU and so it's capable of watching full HD movies, also playing games without any lags. Okay, so now let's take a closer look at the Wi-Fi connection, so therefore we go to settings on both devices. Then we go to the Wi-Fi tab and there we can enable Wi-Fi. So here on the real one, um, just okay, <laughs> just enable here Wi-Fi, so now it works. Same here on the fake one, so here we go. And as you can see, both devices can find my home network, but the signal quality isn't as good um, on the fake one as on the original one, but it's quite okay. So now let's go back to settings and to general where we can check out the software version. So here under general we can go to software update to update the software. So um, on the real one you can update here to iOS 7 and on the fake one it just says your software is up to date. So I think this is just fake and um, the rest here under general is completely equal. So now let's go back to iOS and now I want to show you what happens if we open up the same app on both devices like video player, notes, newsstand or any other app. So now let's start with the video player. Okay, so let's open up the video player here on the fake one and here on the real one and they look pretty similar. I don't have any videos on my real iPhone that is why it looks like this. Now we go to notes. Also notes here looks pretty similar and now we open up the um, web app and as you can see the web app just opens some Chinese web app where you have to set your location in Chinese. Um, um, this is basically this, what happens if you open an app which isn't supported in Android. So if you open up, um, I don't know, um, Maps for instance, then it opens up some Chinese Maps program which isn't the same like Maps on the real one. On the real one it has found a fix in a few seconds as you can see here. And let's wait for the fake one to load up. So here's something in Chinese, um, if we press on it, it will redirect us to the location services, it's here in settings, here you can enable your Google location service, GPS satellites, GPS ePersistence, AGPS, and you can also um, enable location in Google search. 
there's also a, a GPS settings tab where you can um, disable the GPS, restart it and some other stuff. And if you now go back and check out the navigation app here, we can see that the map is China only. So if you want to use navigation, it works on this device, but you have to download a separate navigation app from the Google Play Store or reconfigure this maps app. And here you can see a little GPS test. I'm now connected to eight satellites and I also get a good signal quality inside or outside. And I haven't encountered any problems with the GPS on this device. So now let's take a closer look at the camera software. So let's open it up on both devices. And as you can see, the camera software looks completely equal. So here in the middle, you can take photos. Then right to this, you can switch between photo and video mode. Then here on the left side, you can enter your gallery. Then on the right top corner, you can switch to the front cam. So let's try this. And here you can see the quality. And as you can see, both um, front cams look pretty good. Um, only the colors look a little bit different, but um, I think they look a little bit more natural on the fake one. But so um, now let's close this and check out the options. Here we go. So the options tab is here in the middle on the top. And here um, you can activate the grid. So it shows the grid here on the fake and on the real one, a little bit thicker here on the fake one. Here you can also activate HDR on both devices and there's also an option to shoot panorama photos. So the last thing is the flash. Here you can toggle auto flash on or off and the same here on the real one. And now here comes a little quality comparison of the back camera. So I took two photos of my notebook. The left one is from the real iPhone 5 and the right one is from the fake iPhone 5. And as you can see the colors are a little bit darker on the fake one. And also the resolution looks a little bit better on the real one. So the camera quality isn't bad but it's better on the real one. And if you want to add any email account to your fake phone then this just goes like on the original one. Just tap at mail and then you can add your account. It supports many accounts like Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo and also many other email providers. And now let's close this and take a closer look at the internals of the phone. Okay, so I've now installed CPU set on the phone and now let's open it up and check out the CPU. So here we go. And here we can see that the CPU is a ARM Cortex A9 processor clocked at 1.54 GHz. It's a dual core processor and currently only one core is active to save power because the CPU load isn't high. If the CPU load gets high it will activate the second core. Here on the system we can see that it is based on a MTK6577 chipset. And we can also see the screen resolution which is 480 times 854 which equals a screen density of 240 dots per inch at 4 inch. Then the total RAM is about 2 GB and this phone also needs that much RAM because it has to emulate all that iPhone stuff. Just ignore the values for available RAM because those values are wrong. And here we can also see that it comes pre-rooted. Here we can just see some battery stats but not the capacity, but the capacity should be 1600 milliamp hours. Then here we can see that it has an orientation sensor, a field sensor, a accelerometer, but there are no values for the proximity and light sensor. Okay, so now let's open up the Antutu benchmarking tool, run a little benchmark and then we can see how fast this device is in theory. Okay, now the benchmarking tool has loaded up and now let's go to test, do a full test and then we'll discuss the results. Okay guys, the benchmark has finished right now and now let's check out the results. So here we can see that the fastest device currently is the Galaxy Note 3. And if we scroll down we can see that our device has reached about 8k points which is on the performance level of the Galaxy S2. So now let's go to Temple Run 2 and check out the gaming performance. So I will now go to the settings and change the visual quality to best. And now let's go back to the game and check it out. Okay, and as you can see, um, the game runs quite good, also the sensors are working and there is no lag or something, so um, you can also play games on this device, um, maybe Real Racing 3 or something will lag a little bit, but um, the gaming performance on this device is quite okay. And last but not least, I want to show you Siri on the fake one. Yes, you heard right, there's Siri on this device, and you can open it up by pressing the home button three times, and then just press at the speak button and then just speak something. It also detects it in English, so um, I just said iPhone Siri, and you get <laughs> some message here in Chinese back, so um, I think Siri is basically working, 
but um, maybe you have to configure it to work in English. But it's it's really cool on this device. It's a really funny gadget. And now um, let's come to my conclusion about the fake ones. Here we go. Okay, guys, I'm now at the end of my comparison video. And what I can say, I really enjoyed testing this device here. So regarding the price, you can buy around four fake iPhones for one real iPhone. So it's very cheap. So if you like Android and you don't like iOS, but if you like the design of the iPhone and you're also looking for a cheap phone, then maybe this device is the correct device for you. Um, you just have to know that it's a little bit slower than the real one. Um, it looks like iOS, but it's, it is Android and also some apps are in Chinese, so you have to install the correct apps from the Play Store. But beside of this, I can really recommend this phone. And if you now want to buy this phone, the link to the seller where I bought it is in the description. So it's focalprice.com. The seller is 100% trustworthy and I received my phone after 14 days after payment. So also it's one of the cheapest sellers I found which sells this kind of phones. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did and as always thanks for watching and see you again in my next videos. Bye!